Hi, John Jeremiah here at GitLab. I wanted to share a little, little insight and learning we had recently about how we can make our labels and our projects more effective, cleaner, and more efficient. And one of the challenges we faced was we were doing project management and managing our work using a couple of different processes in strategic marketing at GitLab. One of the things we would do is we had a process where we would establish a workflow for new requests. And when new requests would come in, we would put the right labels on them and they would have scope labels that would change over time. And then periodically we would expect them to close. Well, this led to some problems. One of the problems was that the labels weren't always consistent. And we, we had cases where labels were getting out of sync and it was hard to manage and it was confusing. And, and likely, we also were managing and looking at, at GitLab Insights so we could look at issues and see whether or not they were either internal or external work. And, and again, this was dependent upon issues having the right labels on them, and uh, regretfully, sometimes they didn't. So we had two choices, right? We could, we could try to teach everyone to use the right labels, or we could look for a better way. Well, the good news, and I, what I want to share with all of you, is that there is a better way. There is a bot that allows you to manage and maintain and update labels and keep your labels clean. The GitLab triage project is an independent project that, that's been built to create a bot that will run in your pipeline and will allow you to apply and enforce policies or rules about how you manage labels super awesome. It's super cool. Here's an example of, of how they've described it. And I'll, I'll give you a link to this at the end of this quick video, but you can go there and look at this and set it up in your project and help to make your labels more effective and cleaner as you go. I've also documented a process of how to do this. Uh, this. This page in the handbook describes how to set up the triage bot to do label hygiene and shows you how we set it up in strategic marketing. And I'll show you that really quickly so that you can see how well it works and how easy it is. So to do it and, and to do this and to set this up, if I go to strategic marketing in our project in a product marketing repository, you're gonna see two different files that we've added. One, we've added a pipeline file. And the pipeline, the CIE YAML file, defines the pipeline. We now have three jobs. We have one that runs the tri triage as a dry run. The dry run is a test. It's a way to test your rules without making any changes because when you do make changes, all of your issues that apply will get updated. So this is a, a dry run. It'll do a test run and I'll, we can show you that. And it had, takes an API token. So you have to set that up. Again, the instructions that we wrote show you how to do that. Then there's a policy run job where we can manually run a job and say, look, I want to apply all the rules. And then the last last one is a scheduled job, a job that we run on schedule. We run it every day and that keeps our issues and labels all squeaky clean and ready to go. So, so first off, that's the first file that's added. The second file we have is the policies. It's called .triage-policies.yaml. It sits right there in the root directory of the project. And this file describes the rules. And so each rule consists of a name, conditions, and then actions. And this, these first two of them, I don't have any actions. I'm just doing tests to see how it runs. So the name of it, of the rule is that. The condition, find all the open issues. The second one, find issues that don't have any labels. And the last one, the next one I'll talk about is one where we're gonna do something. And so this one finds any issues that have this label on it, the, the analyst relations label, and then it adds a summary label a scoped label that we call external. And you can see here the conditions. It has this label, it's missing this label, it's open, and so therefore, do these things. Add a label and put a comment too. Now, the fact that you're putting a comment means you can do all sorts of other things with quick actions. You could assign it to an epic, you could assign it to an individual, you could even change issues from being you know, from being public to confidential, anything you can do with quick actions, you could do with a comment and a quick action here. So this is incredibly powerful in what you can do with it. And we have probably about a dozen different rules to allow us to keep our label structure and our issues clean and ready to go. So when this, when this runs, when we're done and it runs every day, so if I go to our pipelines, you can see where it ran this morning. And if I open up our pipelines, we can see where uh, this was the morning time it ran. And in fact, the pipeline was triggered a little while ago when Ryan actually updated, a, uh, updated one of our templates. Again, the stages don't run because they're both manual, so they don't run, but the pipeline was triggered. 
we look at the one where it ran this morning, we open it up, we'll take a look at the job. You can see the details of how it ran. And you'll look at this when you're defining your policies and you're defining how it goes. And so this is the bottom of it. There's 300 lines in this thing. We can just scroll up and look at this. You can see here, it processed a rule of looking for anything that was declined. And then we close, then it, we close it. This is what that rule would do. Uh, or it's missing a scope label. We can go further up and here's one that closes one. Uh, here's one that finds ones with the web label and adds a scope label. So we have a whole host of these. You can see the outputs. Here's one that found was called a one that was missing a scope label. So we added a scope label here. So that's, that's the way it flows and that's the way it works. And it's gonna help you make your labels, your projects and issues more clean, more effective and easier for you to manage things over time. And you'll spend less time looking for issues that don't fit, that, that somehow are, are out of sync. Uh, so in the spirit of efficiency, spirit of moving faster, this triage bot and label hygiene is a huge time savings. So if you want to look at the file I, at the page I wrote about how to set it up, that's this first link, bit.ly slash label hygiene. If you want to go to the triage bot itself, you can go to the one at the bottom, bit.ly slash triage bot. And with that, good luck. Happy triaging, and uh, if you have any feedback or questions, uh, we believe everyone can contribute. So if, if you see something that doesn't look right on the page we wrote, please update a merge request and submit an MR, and we'll be glad to take those and update them. With that, thanks very much, and have a great rest of the day.